Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to reduce your reading time. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to Naruto Man 200, or is it Naruto 200 Man? I forget. <coughs> um, I saw a topic and he said how to reduce it. Uh, I just went in and edited it a bit, so it's a little more precise. So, I have already rigged this Yeti. I recognize him from Twilight Princess in my other tutorial. Now, as you can see, <coughs> his left arm is moving, and it looks pretty nice. I could work on it to make it look a little better. But, when we go into his right arm, it just makes a big mess. <coughs> we could try to rig it perfectly and emulate this side, but it might not turn out looking nice. So, We want to get the whole model selected and select the whole arm or just the part you rigged. I'm just going to select the whole arm to let's say I already rigged the whole arm, which I didn't. Um, if you hear background noise like cameras and stuff, I still have people working on the house. Alright. Now that we have this all selected, we want to go to Mirror Parameters. Um, and click Mirror Mode. <coughs> now, in... Let me just see what his name is. Naruto 200 man's a uh, little explanation. He had you copy the polygon of the arm and paste it mirrored. Now if you do that, it will be weighted and everything, but for some models the polygons aren't existent. Like on this model, it isn't separated into polygons like each individual thing so the arm doesn't have a separate polygon as you can see here it just has bodies, faces, eyes <coughs> all my bra models that has a lot but anyway have this all selected and hit paste, mirror paste you gotta have mirror mode selected. You can't just right. You can't just copy the skin modifier and select the other arm and hit paste. Um, they'll just paste it, but exactly the same. So when you rotate it, it'll look really funky. So it's gotta be mirror mode. Click the little clipboard. You pasted. Do not hit any of these others. Even though it looks like it'll work, paste the uh, blue verts to green verts, which will paste the blue side to the green side. It looks like it might work, but it just, I just had nothing but trouble with it. You can experiment. So now, go back and select right arm J. Pad up to where you were. Rotate. And I'm having trouble with this. It's always when I'm recording. And move. See, it moves exactly like the other arm. So, you can basically do this for the whole model. Uh, after you finish something, just copy and 
the specific side. So it looks nice. Um, I haven't experimented with just going in and selecting the whole left side. Um, so I, I haven't really gone in and said, haven't, oh man, forgot to go in envelopes. I don't know what will happen if you just select it like this. Um, I wouldn't do that, I'll be careful. So take it like one thing at a time. Again, big shout out to Naruto 200 man. Um, I'm not sure if he's still on the forums, uh, which is Kitty Corp Meow Mix. Uh, Smash Boards is also, uh, has some brawl hacking stuff, but isn't as good. It isn't devoted to brawl hacking. So, just do this method. I'll speed it up by a lot. I'll link to, um, his mini tutorial. Uh, so, this should reduce rigging time by a lot. He says 25%. I'd say more about uh, 35. Depending on how good you are. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I guess you can't really rate anymore. You just like. Um, but anywho. Just do that. Thanks for watching.